Why is it when something happens, it is always you three? It's Harry's fault. What? If he'd have picked Draco on the first day, none of this would have happened to us. <laughs> and then it'd be Severus's problem, can you imagine? Oh, hell no, I don't want him. Gee, thanks, guys. It's a joke, Potter, stop whining. Do you know how much extra paperwork I have to do because of you three? Not to mention the sleepless nights, the migraines. The grey hair, the crow's feet. What's your excuse? You're supposed to be in your thirties. I already have Becky carrying Hogwarts for the last 20 years. Do you think Dumbledore cares about Ofsted inspections? He doesn't. Philia says time for a social life. The Ravenclaws just do their homework. They don't kill anyone. Or hijack Thestrals. Or bring back dead bodies. Make fun of my nose. They do do that. Assholes. I also found out. Caca. That noise complaint from my birthday, it was Augusta Longbottom. <gasps> Caca. In it, girls just vexed because it didn't invite her and I didn't invite her because she always wears that hat and it stinks. Professor? How's the pee, my main man? Get in here. All right, sir. Yeah, I was just checking up on you, really. Wondering how your classes are going. Oh, thanks for asking, sir. Yeah, they're going quite... And your extracurricular activities? Oh, you mean like Quidditch? Let's cut the chit-chat. You and Miss Granger, how's it going? So that's why I'm here. Harry, I told you at the start of the year, I've got a lot of money rides in on you and Miss Granger. I'm not going to snog my best friend just because you're going to win some money, sir. That's short-sighted, Harry. You're not thinking of the bigger picture. If I win that money, that spare money that I can share with my friends. We're friends, aren't we, Harry? Sorry, sir, are you bribing me to snog Hermione? <gasps> I would never do that. No. <sighs> at least tell me you're sabotaging Ron. I really thought you cared for a minute about how I was doing at school. <sighs> You've been no fun since Cedric died. <gasps> I guess while you're here, we may as well look at some Voldemort memories or whatever. I got Minerva, you will never guess what I just saw. Albus, me and Severus are busy right now. We've got a bit of a situation. Your situation can wait. What I just saw, mind-blowing. Well, tell us then so we can get on. I just saw Draco Malfoy go into the boys' toilets, closely followed by, you'll never guess who, Harry frickin' Potter. It's Drarry confirmed. Albus, that's what we... There was banging, heavy breathing. It sounded real passionate. I was like, I'm not going in there. That's hella cringe. They were dueling each other, Albus. And if you'd have just done your job, Malfoy would wouldn't be in the hospital wing. Precisely. Oh, so they weren't. Well, then that doesn't make any sense. Why won't Harry just get with Hermione for me? <gasps> Are you cheating on our bit? Typical. No, no money has passed hands. Harry wouldn't take it. What am I going to do with you? Throw him off the astronomy tower. <laughs> <laughs> Severus, you're too much. You kill me. <laughs> I do, don't I? <laughs> oh, would you just look at that? No one's going to want to put a ring on that. No one. Anyway, that's not why I asked you here. We've got to talk. Oh, yeah. It's about the whole Draco Malfoy killing me situation. Me, the greatest wizard of all time, basically, killed by Draco Malfoy. The kid still wets the bed. So what's the alternative? You do it. And just think, the power that gives us, we can plan the whole production. Oh, here we go. Nothing too show-offy, but I do want to swan dive off the astronomy tower. I think it's got good cinematic presence. Albus, please. That's only the beginning. Pay attention. So I feel like what should happen, I should slap you. Then we get into a fist fight or we start wrestling. Like, obviously, don't let me win because you need to win. But if you could make it look like it's a struggle for you. Maybe throw in some, ah, oh, he's strong for an old guy. Oh, you are too much. And then we roll across the floor. You fling me off the tower. Shout, long live the king. And Harry screams, no. That's the Lion King. No, it's not. Seb, wake up. Why did she hang me here next to you? Don't lie, you love it. What is it, Elbus? I just got word. Ginny Potter had her baby. Oh, that's lovely. What's she called? Elbus, what's their daughter called? Her first name is Lily. Middle name? Luna. Well, that means you don't have to be dead. Okay, next name? Potter. That's it. <laughs> Oh, it's so rude, isn't it? Aren't you so mad? No, not at all. What would there be in an Albus? Severus. Potter. Seems real ironic when Severus bullied him and I just raised him to die. When you got him that expensive broom, got him on the Quidditch team, said he wasn't a piece of meat, generally cared about him. That's gotta hurt. What a betrayal. How do you feel? I'm fine. She doesn't look fine. No, she looks crazy. <laughs> You foul, loathsome, evil little cockroach! <coughs> oh my, Annie, no! It's not worth it. Are you alright, mate? 
yeah, I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> Give me one good reason why I shouldn't. Okay, uh, one. One good reason. Uh, uh, uh. Literally just one. A singular one. Stop rushing me! Uh, one, uh, one reason. Uh. Ha! I'm charitable! Are you though? Yes, I kissed Pansy Parkinson last year. <clears throat> More than once. That was charity! You're pathetic. Ha! Look at your hair from the- <gasps> Jokes on you, my face is insured. Bloody hell, Hermione. That was... Are you alright? That felt good. I'm scared. Mm. Oh, I've got presents. It's like stealing candy from... Oh, oh, Harry, you're awake. Oh, you're a little fighter. I didn't expect you to be up for at least a couple hours. I 100% wasn't coming here to eat your sweets. Oh my god! That was Ron, 100%. I saw him. What's it all for? You killed a guy, Harry, and I know I wasn't supposed to tell anyone, but... Then I accidentally told everyone. Oh my god, you won't believe it. Harry killed a guy. <gasps> Hazard, can we talk about how you're a natural? Dust scrambled him, so there's not even a body for people to ask questions about. You little professional, can't wait for our future quests. You mean that wasn't a one-off? Oh, we're gonna have so much fun. This one was non-compulsory, though. If you'd have just stayed in bed, Quirrell wouldn't have been able to get the stone. Me and Minerva were waiting on the third floor corridor with a sack. We were going to throw it over him and say, Not in my school! So thank you for ruining that plan for me. Anyway, killer, I've got a bounce. Glad you're cool. Okay, fine, it was me. Yeah, I figured that. Don't tell Minerva. 